The most important thing here is to know that you're not your mind and you are a loving observer of yourself. Forgive yourself for having these thoughts to say hello thoughts, goodbye thoughts. I'm going to move on to my thoughts of abundance and love and goodness from from people for myself universe loves me and i am attracting abundance okay hi everyone this is cherry enchantress and this is your daily dust for monday october 9th if you're watching in real time but it can also be for whenever you stumble upon it it's also a timeless reading so like using the law of attraction if you're just going about you're scrolling and it pops up this is a message for you but also if you follow me consecutively i really appreciate you <laughs> And today we're doing the pastel journey because it's another one of my favorite borderless decks. Actually, this is also one of those that checks off all the boxes. Speaking of boxes, this is a beautiful box. It's got sparkles on it, y'all, and it's the cutest. And Vanessa Samoyna makes this one, and you can get it at Bow Life. And it's featured in my weekly reading and love messages from your person if you want to check that out and even both sides have a, well actually yes both sides have a sparkle one side the moon sparkles and the stars the moon and the stars sparkle and the other side the stars sparkle so very nice and then check out the book also edged in silver and the deck is etched in this beautiful rainbow silvery rainbow and I decided to to color my deck similarly with this beautiful color and you know with all of that it's still very it was very affordable I just love this deck okay and the artwork is adorable look how cute that is and Vanessa Samoyna has a channel and she's really cool too she's a very loving energy she connects with you as unicorns whereas here I call of you my sparkles of light and sparkles of light just represents the whole energy here is just magical the pixie dust is magic so the daily dust has to do with fairy dust pixie dust and the magic so i'm going to get a three card collective message i'm going to pick from the middle Let's see what we get Ooh, three of wands nice and wow the threes are coming out three of cups i should do a series on a, a little patreon on the threes why the threes are so happy oh and the fives <laughs> the five had to ruin it but i did do a patreon um tutorial tutorial about the five of pentacles if you want to check that out all my links are in the description box okay so let's let's zoom on in and see what we get so I channeled the song, it's my party and I'll cry if I want to. You would cry too if it happened to you. <laughs> All right. So, and actually I would say the five of pentacles is better than the three of swords if that were to come out. The three of wands is great. Three of cups is great. And three of pentacles is also great. But five of pentacles is just a little bit a different maybe a different version of than the three of swords the three of swords would be total backstabbing heartbreak and the five of pentacles makes me feel like there's something there that you could you can make for yourself in other words in other words in this situation the first thing that i'm getting is sometimes things happen so you have a choice here Sometimes things happen and your perception of it can make it worse than it has to be. So you are, I heard this from Healing and Beyond, Michael, this morning, and you're not your mind, you are an observer, right? Loving, uh, you know, observation, loving 
awareness. You're aware of all the thoughts that cross your head and you say, okay, I'm aware of that. I'm letting that go. I'm not going to let that impact me because that is just the mind, the monkey mind. That is not necessarily the truth of the matter. That's not necessarily what I need to perceive this as. Now, there are times where something kind of just happens beyond your control. So the thing that happens beyond your control is it, it is what it is. The way you react to it is also in your hands now. That is in your hands. But all three of these cards are minor arcana, which means it's a minor thing and it's something that you can easily let go of and not not take to heart too much. So let's break each one down. So with the three of wands, it's saying that You've accomplished many things that you should be proud of. Your hard work and determination have helped you in the process of creating the life that you have. Many people in your position would get comfortable and simply enjoy all that your life has to offer. Um, if you're setting your sights higher, that's okay, but also enjoy the current energy, you know? There's all, but it, at the same time, you know, there is still more potential in your future. And think if you're embracing that vibration of expansion, then you are ready to keep attracting beneficial circumstances. So see your future as a continuation of what's already going on and also an expansion of more and greater things, more of what's going on, but even greater and more learning and more growing and more understanding and more awareness and more of your goals being fulfilled. And the Three of Cups is just like really, really celebrating your accomplishments. This is saying, yes, this is a uh, time to have fun and celebrate and party, party and go out with girlfriends, pop some, some champagne, um, there's just this effortless feeling it's also this effortless growth so you are growing into this higher energy and maturing and and learning to be playful through it all you know and not take everything so seriously and be open-minded and you're inviting abundance and all the possibilities and many people coming through your life as well and then also you're having an, a romantic and or, and both maybe, um, accomplishment coming too. So the Three of Cups represents also, in my deck, it represents the tryst, like running away with somebody and having a romantic interlude with them. And the world just loves you when you're open about how you feel. So revel in your success. You deserve it. Now something happens or some, this always happens, doesn't it? When we're always, when we're happy and we're high and we're feeling good, we sabotage ourselves. <laughs> we just, our, our negative mindset comes in and sometimes ruins it for us. So you see something that, Put, puts you, makes you think, oh, I was wrong after all. I shouldn't have been so happy, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you should have been happy. And what is it that you're, what is it that's making you feel this way? Well, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. Don't criticize. Don't judge. But do be aware of this mind this monkey mind, this energy that's coming in that is not, that's not beneficial for you. I don't know why we get these, um, oh, shadow energies. I, I don't know the right word, negativity, this energy that comes through that the naysaying in our mind, the naysaying. I, I think in my case, I was naysayed a lot too as a child both by my dad and my brother. I would say something they both go, no, nah. <laughs> no. I mean, it was kind of a joke sometimes, but if you hear it too much, it gets to you after a while. I also married a man that said, nope, nope, no, nope, all the time, nope. I'm like, okay. And I remember watching my mom 
combat the no energy, the negativity. She's a very positive, optimistic person. And she knew how to manipulate it because she was a Libra. <laughs> but she she made it her way. She she just transformed it into a positive situation. And that's how we usually got through. <clears throat> so there could be a little bit of that. Like something that that something from your childhood causes your mind to go into that negative outlook or the whatever it is. It could be naysaying, it could be something else. And then, and it could have something to do with self-worth or whatever, but th think about all that you've accomplished and how far you've come. The, your self-worth should be out the roof because of all your major accomplishments and just the way you live life is so amazing and you should celebrate every moment now i know you can't be on a high like every day but on the on the days where the energy is a little bit lower it's just more of a mellow kind of energy it shouldn't have to go all the way down to this five of pentacles i'm sad you know but i'm not going to judge because <clears throat> A lot of people still deal with that, you know. <clears throat> this, there's a, a people that can deal that deal with depression or deal with anxiety and things like that. This is thankfully this is not the nine of swords, which is very it's very hard case to deal with the nine of swords. This is just the five of pentacles. It's just feeling left out and just seeing the glass half empty. But I feel like it's easily resolved if you just turn around and look at that shining window inviting you in. You're not left out after all. <laughs> you're actually included. You are included. Maybe you're just perceiving it differently or perceiving it wrong. <clears throat> or it just, I don't know what it is. I just feel like there there's just a different way that you can view this and if you change the way you view this then you will go back into this positive energy and receive your abundance so have you noticed when you have the abundance in your life and you see your life is abundant and you keep attracting more you're like yes i'm attracting more now i'm a magnet for abundance if you go here it's almost like you put a block against that magnetism so you got to release that energy so you can can you reverse back into this magnetic energy that flows but understand this happens a lot and just remember Five of Pentacles just isn't, it's its not the universe making a big major change for you today. This is just a minor little thing, a mi minor little feeling, setbacks, mood. It could be lots of things. Like be, be aware and pay attention to the things you eat and drink and do when you get into that mood. And maybe there, there's some clues and answers in that regard um, why you get into a certain funk or a down feeling a, a sadsies feeling but really it all it is is a little bit sadsies and hey i get sadsies too it just comes out of nowhere sometimes so yeah but it's the most important thing here is to know that you're not your mind and you are a loving observer of yourself forgive yourself for having these thoughts to say hello thoughts goodbye thoughts I'm going to move on to my thoughts of abundance and love and goodness from, from people, for myself. Universe loves me and I am attracting abundance, okay? <laughs> and I hope you like that. Faith Just a Pixie Dust.